Okay, we're going to make our own ball glove mallet today instead of paying 30 bucks for one at the store. So I've got a 12 inch softball in my vise here and all we're going to do is drill a 5 8 hole in it with this paddle bit. And I've got an old handle here with a kind of metal threaded tip. These are like broom handles or painter handles. Um, after you drill the hole in, you just really screw it in there. And we'll be putting some glue on there as well just for extra holding strength. And of course, we'll have to cut this handle off to the right length. So let's go ahead and drill the hole. It doesn't need to be very deep. Let's dump out the hole. Let's try it on there. See if we can get the screw on. Yep. It will screw on there just fine. The, the inside of the ball isn't a hard material. Obviously, it's a kind of a squishy material on the inside. So uh, it will thread on very nicely to this uh, threaded insert here. I'm going to go ahead and cut off my handle first to about 12 inches. It's You can make it however long you want, but 12 to 15 inches is plenty long enough. You can grab a file or a piece of sandpaper and sand off that end you just cut off, make sure there's no splinters. I happen to have a sander here, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Grab some glue, I'm gonna be pretty liberal with my glue application. I'm just using some Gorilla Glue, but you can use any kind of glue that you have around that bonds to this type of, of material. Go ahead and smooth this glue out just a little. Went a little overboard. Okay, go ahead and screw that in there. Wipe off all the excess glue. And that's it. We'll go ahead and let this cure, but now you've got yourself a nice glove mallet. Now you've got an inexpensive glove mallet that you can use to help shape how you want your glove to feel for yourself. You can make your pocket better. You can uh, break in the hinge points, you know, on both sides. Really, um, really do all you want to do to break this thing in. There's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to actually break in the glove, but I just wanted to show you all how to make a cheap mallet. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up. Thank you.